Hey guys, what's up? Ice Cool Tech here back with a brand new video. Alright, so before we get into this video guys, as always, if you're new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And if you guys didn't already know, I have started an Ice Cool Tech official Discord, so link will always be in the description, so definitely check that out. Um, without further ado, let's just get straight into the video. Alright, so the first thing I want to talk about is actually the iPhone 5. So I have an iPhone 5 here running iOS 6.1.4. And it's really awesome to use and everything, but something happened today with the iPhone 5. Um, as you guys know that Apple released iOS 10.3.4 and 9.3.6 not that long ago to iPhone 5s and 4Ss. And this was to fix a GPS issue. Um, so if you haven't updated to that already, you're still using an iPhone 5, maybe it's still on like 10.3.3 or earlier, definitely make sure to update because November 3rd, your device will be completely lost or lose in all internet access. You won't be able to connect to any Wi-Fi. Uh, everything will be shut down. For example, the iPad 4 is affected by this, but only the GPS part. I, whereas the iPhone 5 and 4S, you won't have any connection. App Store, iCloud services will be gone. Uh, OTA software updates will also be gone. So if you guys are on like 10.3.3, definitely update. If you have an iPhone 5 and iOS 6, maybe that's not your daily driver, but you just have it, you know, because it's really cool and stuff. Um, you definitely don't update that and just let it go. Um, for example, I always have Wi-Fi off, so I haven't actually gotten this notification yet. It was popping up on people's iPhone 5s. Um, so yeah, so hopefully, uh, nothing bad happens. And if you guys, if it's November 3rd passes and you guys haven't already updated, you won't be able to do it through settings. What you can do is actually plug your phone into a computer and update to iOS 10.3.4 through set or through iTunes and you'll be good to go. Downside is you actually have to restore your device. So that's pretty, um, pretty you know upset make sure to back your device up before doing so so your data won't be entirely gone uh but the next thing i want to talk about is actually something that just happened at 248 edt so in est that is 148 the app store seems to be down on ios 12 devices now i'm not sure if this is just ios 12 but on all my devices that are running ios 12 uh that's what it seems to be if i put my iphone 7 down and grab my uh iphone or ipod touch 6 generation here um, you guys can see if we go to App Store, we have a, I cannot connect to App Store now. This is running iOS 12.4, and just to verify, if we go back here, general, about, and as you guys can see, iOS 12.4. So, pretty, uh, pretty weird, I don't know what's going on with that, and as you get, this was running 12.4.1, and it's not connecting the App Store. And it's not my Wi-Fi either. My Wi-Fi is working perfectly fine. And I know a couple of the people that are using iOS 12 on their devices and the same thing is happening. Whereas it's pretty interesting. So I just updated my iPad iOS or iPad OS 13.2, which we'll get to in just a second. And the app store is working perfectly fine. I can access it and download stuff. So that's really weird. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, actually, my iPhone SE here, which is connected to a charger, so I can't really pull it back any further. I'm sorry. Um, and as you guys can see, slowly I can access the App Store, which is kind of interesting. Um, I don't know, it seems to just be uh, iOS 12 devices. Anyway guys, I just wanted to you know mention that. Uh, also, iOS 13.2 did release to the general public today, as I mentioned earlier. So uh, this is on the beta. I have to uninstall the profile. Yes, if you are on the developer beta or the public beta, uninstall the profile and go ahead and restart your device and you will have the OTA update available. So we're just going to go ahead and do that right now and then just restart your device. All right. So iOS 13.2 introduces support for AirPods 2 along with a ton of fixes and improvements. Um, and as you guys, well, the changelog is not here, but it includes support for AirPods Pro. Um, it also introduces Deep Fusion for the iPhone 11 series, as well as some other um, features and improvements. New emoji, over 70 newer changed emoji. Um, really looking at that ice cube emoji, pretty awesome. Definitely use that one a lot. You know, the ice cube emoji is probably the best. Um, just kidding, that's, that's a joke. And I actually do remember I, requ I requested that Apple um, did that a while back. It was very early this year. I sent in a feature request uh, for an ice cube emoji. So I'm not sure if that had anything to do with this, but it may have worked. So if you guys do want emoji, definitely, uh, you know, 
request it. So I was 13.2. We got that weird app store. Hopefully the app store is back up. Um, what I'm concerned about though is that this might be Apple trying to get people to update to iOS 13 because it's only iOS 12. Even my 5 here, which I did on iOS 6, which I did actually connect to Wi-Fi just for a second um, to see actually loaded the app store perfectly fine. So, oh wait, is it? Nope. There we go. So I don't know what's going on. I hope that it comes back up because if they're trying to force people to update by doing that, that's pretty messed up, honestly. All right, guys. So the last topic I do want to bring up today is the AirPods Pro were actually announced today. They won't be available until October 30th. If I go to Apple right here, uh, you guys can see the first thing is AirPods Pro. They have this nice new design, very cool indeed looking, definitely look really cool. Um, they have new features such as noise cancellation, even better uh, audio quality than before. And the audio quality was actually fantastic on the AirPods 2 and 1. And as you guys can see, this little thing, I don't know what you call that, flexible silicone tips is actually you can adjust the size now you can have large medium or small ones to fit your ear so that is really cool i'm actually really glad they added that feature personally i don't have an issue with my airpods second gen they fit in my ears perfectly fine um and they're claiming that they get phenomenal battery life and i'm looking really forward to you know seeing someone with these because i personally won't be get, uh, getting them i can't justify spending 250 dollars on these personally but if you guys don't have airpods and you are looking to buy some you could you could definitely check these out these look really cool and they should be fantastic so anyway guys i just wanted to give you you know those updates and everything um, full review on iOS 13.2 full release for the iPhone SE will be out sometime next week, so stay tuned for that. Um, also, I do want to mention that I watch OS 6.1 has not been released. I actually expected it to release when I heard iOS 13.2 was out. I expected it to release, but it did not yet, so it should be out soon. Maybe not today, but it should be out I would say Wednesday at the latest. Um, so anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below and hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. It means a ton, guys. So anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and end the video here. I'll see you guys later.